out of Team Viper. Jake Thompson out of Team TMTK, or JMTK, excuse me. I wonder how many fights Josh Knight really has. I think I've seen him fight more than six times, so sure. I wonder how accurate did that he, is. Yeah, did he have maybe some amateur fights? Or was this, uh, I know, you know, having had a lot of guys fight in South Dakota where it was unregulated for a long time, but he'd have additional fights that way, never get recorded. Three five-minute rounds in the D.C. Bantamweight division. It is brought to you by the United States Air Force Recruiting Services. Air Force, aim high. Introducing first, fighting out of the Pulse Fighters blue corner. This Janjira Muay Thai, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu specialist, stands five foot nine, weighed into 136 pounds, holding a professional record, two wins, five defeats, training out of JMTK and Waveman Jiu-Jitsu. Fighting out of Salina, Kansas, Jake Joss Thompson. His opponent across the cage fighting out of the Nebraska Lottery Red Corners, a wrestler standing six foot one, weighed in at 136 pounds, holding a professional record, three wins, three defeats. Training out of Pinnacle Sports Fitness Team Viper, inviting out of Lincoln, Nebraska, Josh the Cat Nine. Yeah, a ton of fans. Your referee in charge of the action Nebraska. is Dave Jobin. We move up to five minute rounds now with the pros, so this will be three five minute rounds. Ooh, slips on the cage. There you go. Josh with the takedown. Jake has him in a little bit of a guillotine, but not too much concern there. If he can get his hand in there, maybe he can get to it, but Still got to pull his guard to even be dangerous. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, and he got there his guard. Go. One leg in. And if, oh, it might be over. He's got it, elbows in, down. And yeah, he and he gets it. Nice. Technical submission. Was patient. Yeah, very good job. I wanted to see uh, Josh maybe move a little bit to the right, square him up with the cage. That way it would be hard for him to get around, but uh, yeah, not able to quite get there. He seemed to be doing better on the feet. I don't, I don't see a reason for him to even take yeah. it to the ground. Yeah, especially, you know, he capitalized on uh, Jake, you know, kind of falling off of that teep and uh, wasn't able to do much from it after that, got into a guillotine. I was interested to see if uh, it, you know if Josh got the win with the hometown crowd behind him here, if it was just going to erupt in this place, but hmm. doesn't happen. I think maybe the the pink was a strategy to blind him, but it, yeah. it didn't work out so well. <laughs> well, it worked obviously with that teep. I mean, it sent him straight back. I wonder, is his hair naturally black, or did he dye that black also? Yeah, that, I mean, that's a that's a dark shade of black. So <laughs> I gotta think maybe he did that just for a good contrast. Go for your official decision here. Dave Jobin calls the stop to the fight. One minute, one second into the very first round for your winner by tap out. Did a guillotine choke, Jake Joss Thompson.